This is BC Buzz. Hi, my name is Dave Michael Garg, and welcome to BC Buzz TV. Awarded the Nobel Peace Prize along with Al Gore, Mark Jacquard is a professor at SFU in Resource and Environmental Management. He recently co-authored Hot Air, Meeting Canada's Climate Change Challenge, the topic for today's forum. Let's find out what Mark Jacquard believes is the second inconvenient truth. Al Gore just won the Nobel Peace Prize for uh, pointing out the inconvenient truth that humanity is playing uh, a very risky experiment uh, with the Earth's climate system and therefore with all of its uh, natural systems and that there's a very high probability, the scientists are telling us, extremely high, that um, we're not going to like the outcomes and they're, um, from that. But uh, uh, he was awarded that uh, Nobel Prize with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and it, uh, true, <laughs> Uh, I guess I am a winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. I like to point out to everyone I, I see, it means I, me and a cast of thousands, so it does dilute it a little bit. But uh, um, <clears throat> what I want to talk about tonight is uh, what I'm going to call the second inconvenient truth. The second inconvenient truth is that we cannot reduce greenhouse gas emissions until we have a value on the atmosphere, until it costs you something you're either prevented by regulation or you're going to have to pay to emit greenhouse gases. And that's what I'm calling the second inconvenient truth, or perhaps one could call it the inconvenient solution. So for example, at the end of Al Gore's movie, and I'm a great fan of Al Gore, but at the end of his movie, if you look at the credits afterwards, he sort of lists off things that you could do as an individual, um, you know, uh, using your car less and things like that, getting more efficient appliances and home. And I think that's important to point that out to people, but I also think that's a mistake if that's all you leave them with. So what you really need is that second inconvenient, you need to understand that second inconvenient truth. And I say it's inconvenient because it involves governments putting taxes on, and those are never popular. It involves government regulating, and those are never popular. And that explains why governments have avoided that second inconvenient truth. They've tended to say, what, what, what could we do? I know, we'll do commercials on TV and put labels and put out brochures and we'll subsidize, uh, we'll give people money if they get a more, if they insulate their home or buy a more efficient f uh, furnace. Um, but those kind of policies, for the reasons I stated, uh, will you know, have some changes in efficiency, but it's very small compared to getting the whole economy to be working towards always including the, a, a cost on the use of the atmosphere. So the question I always want to ask people is, uh, so for you, do you think your grandchildren are willing to have their total energy costs in their budget climb from, let's say, 6% as they are today typical family to about 8% of their budget over the next 45 years as part of a global collective effort to stave off the climate change risk. That's the trade-off that's out there. And for me, it's a no-brainer as far as what the answer should be. Now, do you have faith that the current administration under Prime Minister Stephen Harper would ever implement a carbon tax as you suggest? I don't really have an opinion. Um, I, all I try to do, I, I don't try to judge and say they will or they won't do this or that. Do you ever get disappointed by the lack of, or the reluctancy by, you know, governments in the United States and, and Canada to make real change towards curbing emissions? Oh, absolutely. I've been very frustrated. Uh, but it's, too, you know, so I've been very frustrated with Brian Mulroney. You know, I, my career basically spans the period in which governments said they were doing something about greenhouse gas emissions. 86 and 88 is when it started. That's when I started as a young professor. And throughout that period, I've been very frustrated that governments keep implementing the wrong policies. I'm just saying that with Stephen Harper right now, uh, the, the government's just gotten in, um, and, I'm, and, and they've started to put in, to talk about some of the right policies, a, a cap on emissions. So far, what I've seen has not been designed in a way that would truly be effective, in my view. So I'm still waiting to see. For BC Buzz Media, till next time, I'm Dave Michael Garg.